want to get to another developing story. Two school buses involved in a chain reaction crash on 75. So the students were on their way back to Hamilton from a field trip today, and that's when they were hit by a truck near the Glendale Milford Road exit. WLWT News Star's Jackie Congedo is live there for us tonight. Jackie, I know several injuries here, correct? Yeah, Mike and Cherie, there were five children who were taken to area hospitals off one of those buses and also two adults inside the propane truck that hit one of those buses also transported tonight. But the good news, I'm told everyone involved in this is expected to be okay. We want to show you some video from earlier this afternoon right after this crash happened. We spoke with a parent who was on board one of those buses. She says about 80 Crawford Woods Elementary School second graders were on their way back from a field trip to the Children's Theater. She was chaperoning when they were bumped several times, as she put it. That's because police say this was a chain reaction crash. They say someone up ahead cut another car off, and that caused everyone to slam on their brakes. A tanker hit a propane truck, and that propane truck hit one of the school buses, which then hit the second school bus ahead of it. That chaperone told us lots of kids were crying, but luckily no one was badly hurt. Mostly bumping and then like a little leg, their, their legs, a couple of them hit their heads and legs. So I didn't see any blood except Miss Combs. She had a little cut on her face and she, was, and she was the cheeriest and most positive the whole time. Now, one of those buses was uh, largely not damaged, able to continue on with those kids on board, take them the rest of the way to school. The other bus, of course, had to be towed away. The kids were uh, unloaded before that happened, and then another bus came, picked them up, and took them the rest of the way to school. Reporting live tonight, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. All right, Jackie, thank you. Several lanes of 75 northbound were shut down for a few hours this afternoon, but the highway is back open tonight.